I'm just scrolling through TikTok and then napata mtu wako live na kwa nyumba ya mabati. This is the most insensitive person nimeshaona hapa TikTok. Na siku tu mbili mbaba akuache hapo waanze kuchakula kama kuku hapa. Ni who dem hajai lipa rent maisha yake yote. If she has chosen not to understand, she won't understand no matter how many videos you make. Oh, it doesn't depend mabati yo oh, inside we have wifi we have she doesn't need all that she knows. Watu wenye wametusi huu msichana wote hawana akili. What are you saying? What are you saying? What is he saying? <laughs> I wonder. I'm just waiting for you guys to get over that video. Ah, mnabo, mtashindie video moja. Eh? Mkemka asubuhi. Oh, udemni, udemni, udemni. Eh? Anyway, Hurt people, hurt people. So if you hurt me, know you're hurt inside. And some of you are sold beyond repair. What are you saying? Akili nyuelo mejaza dread na misi na nyuelo lakini kitu umefikiria hiyo. Hiyo ni mjinga. Mjinga umefikiria. Kamu, watu mabati umefanya nini? Waneza ingia live, mtu mabati aneza kula nyamachoma. Mtu mabati anaishi nyumba ya mabati aneza piga luku kama hii. Mtu anaishi nyumba ya mabati anaweza kuwa influencer mtu anaishi nyumba ya mabati bado anaweza drive ai acha kufikiria hivi acha humble yourself somebody is in a clean aluminium apartment and a record tiktok kwa nyumba ya mabati hmm wengine ndio na kazi yao ni kulala na wanaishi nyumba ya matope it's a, it's a manyata house gosh mnapata wapi bundles mimi dhuru mtu akiishi nyumba ya mabati ata afai kuwa anaishi Bundles mnatoa. Kwa unaishi nyumba ya mabati mnatoa wapi bundles? Mbaka ring lights. Juu ukiingia live unaona hiyo ni ring light. Eh jamii. Yana ta ugopi una una ugopi kwaisha nyumba yako. Unacho kuna vitu mimi sizifanya. Hata sisi zaka mtu aniona nikitoa kwa hiyo nyumba ya mabati. Ako live comfortable. Unakula gidheria usafi. Huyu ni nani anashanga? We enda ushangae huko mbali. Na kupatia content na unakuja kushangaa nini hapa? Toka hapa guoko. Haujawahi lipa rent. Another thing I'm sure of most likely hujai kape ni mtu amejenga nyumba yake ya kuishi. You don't know how people start their lives. As a man ukipata demana reason hivi toroka, koza utawahi endelea. Utanunua shamba pahali umwambie acha tuishi nyumba ya mabati miaka mbili tuinue foundation ya hii nyumba then we move into our house akwambie mimi sisi toka Kilimani niende nyumba ya mabati nataka uendelee kulipa rent na umepiga hesabu kuona hii rent na zaika ido kwa hii nyumba mimi ile tukae kwa shamba yetu but here is you the bigger picture some of the statements hapa inaonyesha anga tu immaturity kuna watu wako nyumba ya mabati and they are doing so well. Wanafanya vizuri hata kukuliko. There's nothing wrong na kukaa nyumba ya mabati. Actually zingine zimefanishiwa hata kuliko hiyo nyumba huko sahi. Some people don't have the big picture. Yana ona tu akiwa kwa rent hapo analipa ka 20k, anaona hiyo ndio life sasa. Sasa anaona watu wako kwa mabati hawajui chenye wanafanya. Watu wameanzia mabati and they are living in Runda and Kare. Watu wanapiga hesabu zao. So ukiona mtu ako live na kwa nyumba ya mabati, wewe usianze kumpigia hesabu. Watu wanajua what they are doing in life. Wewe kama unaona hiyo life unaishi iko perfect. Just be by yourself. Ni kama tumefikiwa sisi watu wa mabati eh mimi ni daktari naishi kwa nyumba ya mabati kwanza mimi ni daktari ama medical robot technologist the best diagnostician in this country naishi kwa nyumba ya mabati keki mbili pia uh, alikuwa amesema hii ni wallpaper watu wenye wametusi huu msichana wote hawana akili mtu hana akili mtu akili yake imeoza hamuna akili nyingi wote kwa nini uwezi kulinganisha mtoto wa moyo na mtoto wa unye au ni watoto wawili tofauti. Huyu huyu msichana amezaliwa kibaki akitoka kwa kiti. Moya nini kira nani akiingia huyu unya akiingia. Huyu ni mtu wa Pampers, huyu ni mtu amekula Cerelax, huyu ni mtu wa Witabix. Sasa huyu ajui maisha. 
kutoa vajiliti yake ya kwanza ati mwanamke anatolewa vajiliti na mwanaume anatolewa na mzee spams zake za kwanza ni za mzee ziko kwa akili zimechanganyikiwa eh? unapata ono na vita naongea ni za uzee zote hana akili sponsor wake ni mzee ameamelelewa kwa familia imekiweza wameishi Nairobi miaka yao yote kwa nyumba kubwa kubwa huyu hajui maisha huyu ajaipewa uji hivi huyu ajaisha na uniform na anauzi ya red ya black ya pink huku kiraka huyu huyu ajaitembea na miguu chini akienda shule huyu ajaikulwa na dudu sasa ni nini nawasumbua what's wrong with you kama sema tu ukweli ni ukweli kwa sababu yeye hajui unaona yeye amezaliwa na maisha ikiwa soft anatoa virginity na mzee sasa ndio dopata most of ladies wale wenye wako na masponsor wazee hawa sichana amezeeka mapema msichana ako na miaka 22 kifua yake imejaza na kubeba mzee kila siku anabeba mzee anainua mzee anainua mzee kifua yake na namwagiwa hizo mauchafu za uzee msichana amechapa Unapata msichana ni mdogo lakini amekaa mzee. Sasa na sisi wazee tutasema nini? Tunapata wasichana wengine hapa wamechapa. Mtu amezoea kukulalishwa na wazee mpaka umeanza kuuliwa. Uone venye wanauliwa one by one kwa sababu wamezoea kifua yao imezoeshwa wazee kulalishwa. Wazee wananyonya hiyo matiti yao. Haezi kupata kijana barubaru. Mwenye anajua mahanja. Mwenye anajua kisi mwenye anajua kukula hiyo kitu vizuri hawana idea na hiyo wamezoea wazee kazi kaka meisha kana kumwagia round ya kwanza unanuka siku mzima sumu achane na huyu mchinga uona anatumia uchi kwa akili yani mtu kukaa kwa nyumba ya mabati inashtua mtu yani people wamekuwa na kiburi to a point that they view other people as if they are not people enough yani tumekuwa na ile roho ya wazungu ya kuonyesha ya kwamba wengine binadamu wengine they are not enough unakuta huyu ni mwanamke look at her enda kwa page yake si ati ameachieve a lot if anything anakaa tu mtu anapata pesa maybe ya bwana ama something like that somebody who is even living living in rental house wewe unajua kuna watu wako kwa nyumba ya mabati na wanaishi kwao na ni mahali shambalao wako nayo wewe apart from maybe that husband of yours what else have you yani ah wanawake ni wale wanapea watu social media pressure wanakuja kukudhalilisha wengine social media ili na unajikuta watu wana commit suicide watu sijui wanajiona wana wana kama they are not enough ati watu wanakaa kwa nyumba ya mabati na wako live TikTok. Where are they supposed to stay? Kwani bundles na bea mabati zinatoshana? These ladies, ah wanawake ndio unakuta ndio unakuta wakiuliwa huku kwa ma, kwa ma lodging. Sitaki kukuita muza ngono nisijitukane. Lakini these kind of ladies wasiku wasiku wanapatia watu huku pressure na hata ana adabu. Sono kama no. Hii video yangu tu moja inatusemesha dunia mzima. Video tu moja ya kusema watu wanaishi nyumba za mabati imetetemesha TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. You guys are going through a lot Telegram. Video yangu tu moja ina, inafanya Kenya kwa united. Oh, I must be a proud citizen then. Like I'm so proud. You know me meant no harm when I'm saying people in TikTok um, are recording in houses, uh, aluminum apartments. I meant no harm.